Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad Lone Wolf, and uh, well today it's not going to be a regular video as I normally do. Um, this is just going to be a recommendation video, uh, as opposed to a review video uh, or um, an outdoor video or anything like that. Now I realise for some of you this video is going to be coming a little bit too late. Um, as we had Storm Eunice yesterday um, and we're still well some people are still suffering the aftermath and there are people without power and without gas um, and obviously um, for people like that uh, they're not going to really see this until after the fact but even so um, uh, we can expect more storms like this uh, going forward and we can expect more power outages and more gas outages so with that in mind um, obviously a lot of people are going to be turning towards camping stoves and obviously there's nothing wrong with that um, my recommendation just for the sake of uh, just for the, this purpose sake is going to be I'm going to put a chopping board down just so it's a little bit flatter. It's going to be one of these stoves. Now, a lot of you would have seen these stoves. Um, if not, you've probably already got one. Now, I always have a habit of opening this upside down. So let's see if I've got it right this time. No. Okay, so turn this over. Now, this one happens to be uh, a Camping Kaz Camp Bistro. These were the original types. They've been copied and by at least a dozen different companies have made these these type. But the thing is, is they're all pretty much a standard design. One or two variations, but they're all more or less a standard design. So you get single ring burner. This is the, the stove top itself at the moment is upside down. But you get a single ring burner and a power control there. Take it out of the case and we can have a closer look at it. Quite rare. Um, well, I say it's quite rare. I haven't seen them in a case for quite a while now. Now, the um, stove itself, like I say, that bit, the stove ring flips up and over. Um, some of these are now actually fixed in position so you can't actually take these off. But as I say, this is an original style, so you can do that. Gas, can gas canister goes in there. Now, the great thing with these is you can actually leave the gas canister in there. It is not recommended, but you can actually leave them in there because there is a lock there. They, I'll come on to this in a minute. They run off of these cylindrical gas cylinders. Um, this one happens to be a camping gas one, but you can get other types as long as they are this shape with a push fit and the cutout uh, on the ring there, they will fit. So just prove it. Not quite sat in there correctly. It does work, it does work because we've used these before. Ooh. Interesting. Anyway, go back to the original gas canister. Like I say, as long as they've got the cutout at the top um, and the push fit, they should fit and work just fine now this lock that i was talking about when you push it down and leave this hatch open you can see it moves the canister forward and actually um, engages with this seal in here now the great thing great thing is is take the gas canister off 
so I don't accidentally do this. If you have even left the control even slightly on, the lock itself will not will not go down. Reason being is there is a safety which is in which engages. So now that I've turned it off, it will move backwards and forwards, but even if it's in the engaged position, obviously theoretically I can't push the gas canister in because it's the gap this cradle is too small. Make sure it's sat there properly. Put it in position. Now I'm going to close the gap up this time. You don't need matches with this. Um, it actually has a piezo ignition built in, as you can see. The, um, it, like I said, it's piez piezo ignition. You have got a fair amount of control. It's not as good as obviously a um, kitchen stove, but you still you still got enough uh, enough control there to give an, a nice simmer. All the way down um, to about there. The downside to these stoves, however, there is, it is a. I'm just going to turn that off. It is a single ring burner. Now I have heard rumours that uh, people have tried making a double ring burner out of these. I haven't seen them yet. That doesn't mean they don't exist, I just haven't seen one. The other downside is this is a butane cartridge. Problem with butane, as you use it more, as you use it, it becomes colder. That's what, the same with any gas, to be fair. That is the same with any gas. As you use it, this cylinder actually becomes, or this cartridge becomes colder as it becomes colder it becomes less efficient um, so the longer you use these and these will last about an hour and a half hour and a half two hours on full burn in one of these stoves as you the more you use it and as you use it up the um it becomes less efficient doesn't mean you can't cook on it, it just means it becomes less efficient now you saw me earlier try to fit this cartridge now I don't know why it won't go in I've got no idea why because it's exactly the same size exactly the same diameter but if for some reason oh, there you go it does work it does fit in and it will light up so I don't know why earlier it didn't fit in I've got no idea but for long-term use you need a but um yeah, butane propane uh, mix. It will still get cold. It will still um, become less efficient, but it won't become as inefficient as just straight butane. Okay. Actually, it says isobutane, so they've changed that. That's my mistake. I do correct. I correct myself there. That is isobutane, so that's resistant to um, becoming cold. So yeah. That's uh, that's my fault. Uh, I, um, yeah, I made a mistake on that. So isobutane, same as same as this one. Um, they are both resistant to cold. It doesn't mean they're immune to cold. It just means that they are resistant to cold. Now, like as I say, I realise for a lot of people this is coming a little bit too late, and I do apologise for that. Um, but as I say, going forward, we are probably going to get more storms and the likelihood of power outages will be increased. So if you can get hold of one of these stoves, um, please do so. Um, if not, obviously there are other camping stoves out on the market. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching this, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.